And a good spiritual morning to you once again. I'm Father Cosmas. Thanks for joining me today for a quick chat and, of course, our morning cup of coffee. And today, being August 24th, uh, is the day of feast day of St. Cosmas et Tolos. Big, sort of more modern saint, modern by our, our standards. I think he lived in the 18th century. And um, so it's a big feast day, very popular and well-known saint throughout Greece. And uh, not my patron saint, but, you know, we share the same name. I'm sort of named after Cosmas and Damianos, which celebrates on November 1st. But St. Cosmas of Etolia or Etolos is known for being this amazing saint in Greece um, that is responsible for revitalizing, right, a lot of traditional Orthodox belief and Orthodox culture. Um, he's a monastic and he comes out into the world. He starts traveling through, uh, through Greece and just goes and starts preaching. They put up a cross where he preached and he starts sort of teaching people once again about the very basics of their faith because at this time, because of the occupation, the Turkish occupation, the Muslims occupying Greece, the Christians there are starting to lose a little bit of, let's say, their, as we would say in Greek, their phronima, the real sort of feel and essence, let's say, of their Orthodox faith and the sort of nuts and bolts of it. So St. Cosmas goes out and he starts really teaching and revitalizing. He's handing out prayer ropes. He's encouraging people to practice an Orthodox Christian way of life, even though they're immersed and surrounded by sort of non-Christian beliefs. Uh, so you can see where I'm going with this, right? For our society today, it's exactly where we are. We are, uh, I think, in a worse condition uh, than the Greeks back then. And you might say, how is that possible? They were occupied by the Turks. They were invaded and they were being occupied, they were being threatened with violence, all sorts of horrible things, of course. But the thing is, is that you can see a gun and you can tell when you're being shot at. We live in a time where we're being persecuted and we can't even tell, we don't even know. It's like you put a frog, right, in, in the water to boil it and you just slowly turn the, the heat up just a little bit and make the water a little bit hotter and hotter and the frog is boiling and, and doesn't even know to jump out because it's gotten used to the water getting hotter and hotter a little bit at a time and before you know it it's cooked and I think that's how we are we're immersed in this sort of post-christian atheist agnostic society surrounded by all of these crazy crazy ideas and we're just starting to accept them. We're just starting to adopt them. And we're just saying, yeah, I believe all of this stuff. Sure. Um, even though it's, it's crazy. And even though people 100 years ago would have said, are you in your right mind? This is really what you're believing? And that's exactly what's happening to us. And us as Orthodox Christians, we're swimming in this every day, in this culture, in this language. And we're starting to use this language and we're worrying about these things and we're focusing on these things and we're just sort of the frog in the pot and we're starting to boil and we don't recognize it. And I think it's time for us today as we celebrate St. Cosmas to sort of think about coming back to our roots, coming back to what we believe and having the courage to say, this is enough. You know what? You can say that and you're free to say that. It's a free country you know, theoretically. It's a free country. People are free to believe what they want and say what they want and, and live their life. And it's not for me to sort of say they should be persecuted or judged or whatever. But you're asking me to capitulate and you're asking me to adjust how I live my life and, and what I believe to accommodate you. And that's not a free country anymore. That's a totalitarian state. And that's where we have to start regaining our identity because I feel like we're risking the loss of our Orthodox Christian identity. And that's exactly what St. Cosmas was fighting against, right? This immersion in a Muslim culture and people started losing their faith. And we have the same thing. We're immersed in this post-Christian agnostic culture and we're starting to lose our faith, the central elements of our faith. And we can't do that. It's gotta be okay for us to say we're being persecuted and we're being occupied and we have to stop. We have to remain true to what we believe. Now, I'm not gonna mention a specific subject. You can pick the subject, there's a thousand of them. And I think we all know what's happening around us. We can see it. The main thing is we have to be okay to say, I don't believe that. 
I don't accept that. You can do what you want, and I'm not going to hate you. I'm going to love you as a Christian. But don't ask me to say it's okay. Don't ask me to say I believe it, because I don't. And that should be okay with you too, because otherwise, what does that make the society that we're living in? And so that's something that I think we have to be okay with. It's a time for us to sort of regain our roots and be brave. It takes bravery to do that, to run the risk of offense, to run the risk of hurting it. And, you know, we're Christians. We want to love everyone. We don't want to hurt anyone. We don't want to offend anyone. But we also want to be able to say, this is what I believe. And, and it's okay to believe what we believe and to express that. And to understand that if people don't agree with it, that's okay. We don't all have to agree. That doesn't mean we can't live together and get along with each other. We should be able to respectfully disagree. And I think we've lost the ability in our society to respectfully disagree and still have love for each other. And that's what we struggle with. But that's something that we have to be conscious of and something that we have to be shooting for and remembering to, to kind of grab hold of. So whenever you're struggling, think about St. Cosmas out there preaching this with all of the, the Turkish occupiers around him, planting those big crosses, handing out prayer ropes and saying, this is our Orthodox faith. And we have to be out there in society now in quiet ways and daily ways in our lives saying, this is what I believe. This is my Orthodox faith and trying to live it each and every day. Amen.